Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best M42 lenses in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these M42 lenses, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality M42 lenses according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have MC Helios F2 Russian lens. This is a small, compact, and heavy-duty lens capable of taking incredible shots that are sure to impress anyone. The body of this lens carries two different rings for manual control, the focus ring and the aperture ring. As there is no involvement of electricity, everything is manual about it. The focusing range starts from 0.5 to infinity. Over the years, this one has managed to get a cult following through its ability to take clean, soft, and sharp photos. It provides a distinctive swirly effect, which is favored by many art photographers. This vintage lens is known to take great portraits as well. Moreover, modern digital camera using really cheap adapters. Now, as mentioned before, this tool has a really sturdy full metal build. You can't get better build quality than this. Being completely manual, you'd have to practice a lot to use this kit to its full potential. Getting the swirly effect might take some getting used to as well. Once you have complete control over the lens, you start taking really beautiful photos. The greatness of this decent kit lies in its affordability. You'd be getting some really awesome features in a surprisingly cheap product. Overall, this can be termed as one of the best M42 mount lenses. Moving on to the next at number two with Seven Artisans Full Frame Fixed Lens. Initially made for the Leica cameras, this small yet extremely effective lens can be mounted on any modern day mirrorless cameras using easy to get adapters. It is made from metal and pure glass, so you'd have no complaint about its durability. Inside the lens, there are 13 aperture blades. They are controlled by an aperture ring that turns very smoothly, and it allows nice manual control. The aperture goes from f/16 to all the way up to f/1.1, which is really wide for a lens of this price range. And the engraved paint markings on the lens help in setting everything to your comfort. The aperture ring does not have any click indicators, which might be a letdown for some, but it doesn't affect its functionality at all. And the focus ring is also very smooth to turn around with hard stops to prevent accidental changing of focus while handling the lens. You can get amazing sharpness, but it requires precise focus and aperture control. As you lower the aperture, the center sharpness improves quite a lot while vignetting around the edges decreases. This lens offers a beautiful and dreamy book effect, which is at its best when the aperture is set to phone point one. Its flare resistance is very decent, however, it requires you to set the right aperture depending on your personal preference. The specialty of this product is that it is quite versatile as it offers impressively sharp images while you can control the aperture to produce soothingly soft images as well. The number three position is held by Dustar 61 f2.8 Soviet Russian lens. Now, this is a really old lens from the Soviet era. It has vintage written all over it. Coming at an extremely cheap price, the build does have that inexpensive look on it. However, the fact that they are still being used takes a lot of doubts away about its durability. This lens is unusually small, even smaller than Helios lenses, which are its Russian counterparts. You'd barely notice the added weight on your camera device. Now, the build quality is definitely not the best feature. It is actually favored for its unexpectedly decent optical performance. The focal length of this camera kit is about 53, which is manually controllable by its focus ring placed on the front side. As stated by the manufacturer, it can focus from one to infinity. The click stop aperture ring is placed right on the back of the lens. This gives you a fine aperture control. Being one of the best cheap M42 lenses, this is a huge bonus. Moreover, the sharpness and the resolution of this product is surprisingly great, and you will be awestruck by the results produced by such a small and cheap camera tool. It is, in fact, sharper than most Soviet lenses. This one is able to render images with a distinctive clarity and finer details. Plus, you definitely notice the retro touch on pictures. It performs the best when the aperture is set to f/2.8 to 4. You'll notice obvious improvements in quality. Next at number four, we have Indust our 52 Fifteen f3.5 Russian lens. Coming up next is another old school Russian lens. 
This is one of the smallest and the cheapest camera lens you can buy, with being one of the top-notch vintage lenses in the market in 2019 and 2020. As it was originally made for M42 camera mounts, you'd have to use an adapter to mount it on modern cameras. This one has a very compact metal build, just like the other vintage lenses. It has both manual aperture and focuses control. There are about seven aperture blades, and they provide much smoother out-of-focus background effects. The aperture ring has hard stop to prevent unwanted turnings. Moreover, the focus ring turns quite smoothly as well, turning all the way to 300 degrees, giving you the ability to be more precise in focusing. This is why some of the photographers consider Industar 52 as one of the best vintage zoom lenses. The 15 focal length of this camera kit suits full-frame cameras the most. While on APS-C devices, it looks a bit zoomed in, which is great for portrait photography. It has an f 3.5 maximum aperture, meaning that the lens can let in twice as much light as a standard kit lens. This also allows for more blurred effects. The lens can help to capture really sharp images with decent contrast through precise control of aperture and focus. You will get nice looking bulk effect from this kit. Besides, you will notice the old school character and pictures taken with this lens. The overall quality of images is quite amazing for a product of this price range. The number 5 position is held by Pentax Super Tacumer 55M lens. This particular vintage lens is extremely popular and considered one of the top quality products with a large cult following. It dominated the marketplace back in the day for a long time. Now, you can get your hands on one of these for a fairly low price. Moreover, interestingly, many consider this model as the best M42 lenses for video. The lens is a pretty solid metallic build with uniquely designed aperture and focuses control rings. And then that shape design of the rings provides nice grips. Both of the rings turn very smoothly with clicks for guidance. One unique feature of this lens is the use of thorium, a slightly radioactive metal, on its glass to improve the resolution as well as the sharpness. That's what gives the yellow tint on the glass. The image quality of this kit is undoubtedly one of the best, comparable to even the big budget modern lenses. You'd appreciate the lovely bulk effect produced by this camera lens as it looks much better than the others. The sharpness and contrast in images, as well as the color rendition, are unquestionably impressive. You'd have to sacrifice some of the sharpness if you want to take wide-angle photographs. With the right focus and aperture, you'd be able to give your photos the stunning blurred effects. Your images will, of course, bear a distinct vintage character thanks to this lens. The number 6 position is dominated by Jupiter 985 MF2 Russian portrait lens. We have another lens from the Soviet era with quite some reputation for being able to capture remarkable portraits and producing incredible book effect. This is a prime lens and a replica of the popular Zeissoner lenses. It has a strong aluminum build, just like other Russian lenses. As it was made for M42 cameras, you are going to need an adapter to make it mountable on modern cameras. The manual control rings are click less, but very smooth with pleasant grips on them. For guidance, it has nicely painted markings. This neat kit is actually known for its ability to produce an extraordinary bokeh effect. The 15 aperture blades allow it to create stunningly curved bokeh, which is pretty unique. Besides, at f 2 aperture, you'll be taking amazing portraits. The 85mm focal length and 28 viewing angle range allow it to take really wide open shots. Now. This lens is capable of producing super sharp images at f 2.8 to f 4 aperture or higher. At f 2, you'll notice softness on the edges, which will be sharpened as you move up. In wide open spaces, the lens is very soft and has this interesting kind of glow on the photos. The softness is actually favored by many. Besides, the out of focus rendition is pretty cool too. This tool has crazy flares, especially when you're shooting wide open which can be awesome to look at but can also be annoying when you don't want them. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Pentax Super Tacumer 35M f 3.5M f lens. The Pentax Tacumer 35M is one of the best vintage lenses out there. You need to get your hands on this one if you fancy vintage lenses and the effects it provides to your pictures. It is a small lens that can be carried around easily. These are made up entirely of metal and are a bit heavy, but that also adds to their durability. You can use these to shoot pictures outdoors as well as indoors. The number 8 position is held by Helios 44 II Russian lens. The Helios 44 II Russian lens comes out as a well-constructed compared to the recent plastic ones. You need to get used to its manual focus by training to be quick on getting a focus. 
A picture coming from the lens comes out as unique and beautiful. The angle of viewing can be reduced and convert the lens into an aperture portrait lens. Next at number 9, we have Helios 44 MUS SR lens. Helios is an excellent tool that comes with its adapter and with front and rear lens cap. It lacks a ROM connection on the ring of the adapter, so diaphragm control has to be set manually. When using an adapter, the stop-down mode needs to be activated when calibrating the lens because the camera body cannot control the lens. You are free to shoot in manual or aperture priority mode. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Mir 1V, the wide angle lens. The Mir 1 wide angle lens has a beautiful design that spots a tank-like full metal solid construction. The aperture adjustments do not require complex procedures to set them up. Therefore, this helps when handling videos during recording. The aperture blades give a round circle within the armature range. The focus ring rotation is a wide range of 270 degrees. That's all for today. We upload camera on camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.